Good morrow, family. Hello. <laughs> Hope you guys are well. Um, we thought let's turn the camera on, spend the day with you guys. We miss you guys. Um, but really, truly, really, it's because today is a super, super gloomy day. So we're going to be working from home. And um, I want to unbox a few things with you guys. I also want to talk to you guys about multiple streams of income because as an entrepreneur, which is the direction that we as a family are going in, um, that is so, so vital and so, so important to have multiple streams of income because when you're starting out <laughs> and you're not a multi-million dollar brand just yet, just yet, then you need to have multiple streams of income to make sure that you are hitting your financial goals and targets and all those things. So yeah, we're gonna spend the day with us. Today is a very, very gloomy, gloomy day. By the way, this is my shit. I love weather like this. I love rain, a little bit of thunder in the distance, gray clouds, like I just thrive in this weather. Alana is the exact opposite. So he's not enjoying it as much as I am. Hey, where'd you go? There he is. We out here. I'm very curious as how these other bloggers. I feel like they wake up and then they put on a no makeup makeup face. They for sure did that. I just woke up and brushed my teeth and I was like, hey, <laughs> maybe yeah. I need to be more like the other vloggers. right mm. I like it's minimalist like sometimes PR companies do too much it's recyclable I don't know that's what I like about it do you like the design, I like the design. is that what you're saying <laughs> yeah, I like how simple it is I like the design yeah I can feel that I've already fucked it up because things are moving in here <laughs> My bad. oopsie daisy okay so let's open that up and put things back where they should be before I came into the picture. And that is what it is. When I hold you in my arms. Um, so it looks like this is part of the studio fix um range, which includes their Hello, please don't do this. Okay, so this is the first thing and it's got my name on the side, super cute. Um, this is their 24 hour wear buildable full coverage, matte coverage, oil shine control. So that is their Studio Fix Fluid, um, shade in W44. I... I bounce between shades. <laughs> that is with all of my foundations, even my undertone, like the undertone on my face is not as yellow as, I mean, you guys can see. This is more like neutrally on my face and then this is more like yellow. So I'm very, very excited to try this because I used to try NC50 or something like that. And now because my undertone is doing its own thing, NW44. And then this is the Studio Fix Plus. I already have, but I am running out, so perfect timing. And then last but not least, which I don't have, this is the MAC 150S brush. So that is what I got from my MAC family. Pretty cute, I'd say. So, just got a few things. Let's open her first. That's my shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, she gonna be cute for summer. Hot girl summer. That's actually very, very cute. Um, I am purchasing for the body that I'm going to have. 
Does anyone else do that? Because if you do, just put it in the comments. Do you also purchase for the body that you're about to enter into? Oh my gosh, any other 90s babies? Did we not live in these? What a throwback, I absolutely love this. I should have gotten the pink and the nude as well, but I got the white. Oh, this is, again, a future body. This is a future body purchase. Bikini top. And then the bikini bottoms. And then the last two things I got are bucket hats. That's Don't be cool. jealous. That reminds me of that other hat that you have. Which other hat? The Russian Nikita hat. Oh my gosh. Oh, Nikita, you will never know. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. This is so cute. I love this. I like how it. Like it feels. Yeah. It actually fits my head. If I have a wig on, that might be a whole different story. But for now... Is that hat unisex, yo? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a hat. I can't imagine that hats have genders. Because then we've just gone too far. Where? We've just gone way too far. I might, I might take that hat for December. Uh, I think the fuck not. <laughs> My beach excursions. Look at how cute this one is. This is a tie dye one. <clears throat> okay, that's a wrap on the unboxing. It's almost 11 o'clock at 12. I have to get onto a phone call with another potential client. So I do need to get out of these PJs and get my life together and prep for that. So cool. Oh, by the way, everyone keeps asking me why it's always one o'clock. This watch doesn't work. This clock, oh, sorry. Clock, yeah, it doesn't work. People are always asking me because of my morning quotes. They're like, dude, why is it always one o'clock? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> no, there's no battery in it. There's no battery in it. It's purely for aesthetics at this point. I doubt we will ever put a battery in there. Um, because we have that big ass clock behind us, plus this one's loud as hell. Okay, so... I'm running late and it's completely my fault. Completely my fault. Yay, starts in one minute. Ha! Gotcha. Working with her. Yeah, dude, she sounds fucking smart. Like, she's got a vision, she's got a... Sorry, I'm trying to record and talk. <laughs> Has she sold the product yet? She, privately, through her network. Um, so I'm just gonna help her with regards to creating a launch sequence that actually builds enough buzz online that she can sell out or hit her financial goals. Oh, so you're gonna continue to assist her during this period? Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely gonna support her. I just gave her a mini coaching right now to make sure that her soft launch goes well enough that she can't afford to do private coaching yeah. because that's that's Same. what she wants. Okay, so baby, if you wanna hop into this thing with me, I've promised the people. <laughs> you're so I'm annoying. Here. You're so annoying. Yo, no, my afro's actually kind of cool, yo. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Okay, so I have promised I'm people really all to share some of our streams of income, the ones that we have, the ones that we want, and the ones that we're in the process of building. Yeah, she turned this light on. You see, I have to plug it in. We've, we've been at this for about a year and a half, not necessarily the company and creating our streams of income, but going in this direction of helping to people occupy their online space and book brand deals. 
um, and we've always known that that's the way in. The way that we ended up making our six figure like income and all that, almost seven figure, if we reach our goals by the end of the year. It's gonna be by the end of the year. I sure. hope so. Um, is through that first brand deal that that we landed changed everything. And then we landed more and more and more, yeah. which then put us in a position where we are now able to run the company that we run. Yeah, I mean that first brand deal, like. Once we once we got that brand deal and we knew and we knew how we got it, that's really when everything like clicked. Yeah. Because it's one thing to get a brand deal and not exactly be sure. Like some of our, our um students when we first approach them, they booked that first brand deal already, but they're not exactly sure like how they did it and they don't know how to replicate that. And yeah. it's once they figure that part out. Um, you know what the that they really like start climbing in terms of making like money. I think so we were fortunate enough that our first brand deal was also a dream brand deal like over a continuous basis they would send us products we didn't have to do anything if we did we would send them the images and then they'd pay like it was just an amazing setup right wasn't it international as it well? was international like as we well. tried so hard to get brand deals in south africa at the time like I, I think people don't quite like realize just how much social media has shifted even just in the past two years yeah like really and truly Getting like brand deals from South Africans wasn't really a thing when we started Start coming onto the platform. Um, and then like our very first brand deal was from like an American company and Same then thing. we were just like, wow dude, like this thing is gonna blow wide open because yeah. it's just a matter of time before the South African brands hop onto this train that everyone else in the world was already doing. Brother, look at the backlight and the top light on your afro. Fleeky. Cool, Fleeky! <sighs> okay, anyways. <laughs> I should preach, uh, because I look angelic and yeah. shit. <laughs> um, once we started booking them again and again and again, but this time it was consciously, we were like, okay, cool, we've made enough money to now turn around and actually be able to teach other people to do the exact same thing, because this is a gold mine. This is, you don't even need a degree. And especially in a place such as Africa, where education is very exclusive and often very reserved for the wealthier middle upper class, um, you could be a goal in the rural areas with your phone and your data and be able to make this work. So we were like, this needs to happen. Yeah. One of the things that we prided ourselves on was that we were building this business from your bedroom. Yes. Which really meant that like, if you can build it from your bedroom, then other people can build it from their bedroom as well. Like that was one of the things that we loved. By the way, about guys, that. we genuinely built it from our bedroom. From I mean, the bedroom. You, you can literally go back on my YouTube channel. I'm shooting inside of my bedroom on my bed. Um, we are booking brand deals. I, I remember one of the biggest ones we ever booked. We were in bed. We were too lazy to work, and 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 we had just been hustling. We were burnt out. And then we wake up and there's like an email whilst we're in bed and we booked this massive brand deal. Um, but anyways, in, inside of my mom's house. We're living with my mom. Anyways, so, um, and, and since then we went from one stream of income, which was those brand deals, to now having about six, almost seven streams of income in one year. In a year. In a year, guys. Which is crazy. Wild. Like, it's crazy. Like, we knew that... We knew that like the idea that we were trying to do um, could work, but I honestly didn't think that it would work as fast as it has um, and across the various different streams of income that it would generate. Like, I would have been happy with just like two streams of income, dude, but... So I want to unpack, and I'm going to make this a long video because I want you guys to have all the details because that is where we, we are moving now as a family online. It is what it is. We had a team meeting. It is what it is. Yeah. We've decided. That's where we're moving as a family. That's where we're moving we as a family. are moving as yeah. a family. Okay. So the first year of income that I want to unpack, and I want to unpack this thoroughly because this is what's going to trip you guys up and make you want to quit. And that is um, Google Advertising stroke AdSense, right? We, at the moment, only make between 1,000 to 3,000 Rand per month. I will put the dollar conversion as well as the euro conversion for the rest of the fam on screen somewhere. Now, I'm a nano account. 
I'm coaching you and I know that you are a nano account. You cannot be expecting to make, you know, the 10,000 up, up, upwards of like a mil sometimes on AdSense that these bigger accounts make because AdSense is also very heavily weighed as a numbers game. Mm -hmm. More people see the ad, the more money you make. But it's also based off of the quality of your actual um, account. So people that tend to talk about sex and things that aren't necessarily advertiser friendly, your CPM is lower. Is lower. So you can have a million views on a sex um, topic, you know, video, and then only end up making like three hundred dollars or three thousand dollars, something very, very minuscule. Versus someone like myself who has a high CPM because we are in the in the education education. Space. I was gonna say something else, guys. We are in the education space, yeah. so our CPM is higher. What I liked um, that you said was that this is one of the first things that'll trip you up, It'll trip um, you up. because. Like that AdSense money, the YouTube um, AdSense money, like that was the, f when, when we started and we didn't know any better, that's where we were like, this thing is going to be amazing. And when it didn't happen, it was discouraging. Yeah. It really was discouraging. Um, and, and it was after that that we figured out that the AdSense thing is based on numbers. It's based geographically. So what country you're in. And what country um, your audience matters and what country your audience is in matters because like these advertisers that are um, um, displaying those ads on your thing like they're looking at like what certain companies uh, countries like economies look like what the spending powers look like what the spending habits uh, look like and then they come to a determination of how much they are prepared to pay so that was one of the things that we also didn't know when we started out um, which actually just, I mean, it like we it really bummed me out that we were putting in all this effort and not getting that return. And once we figured out like why that was happening, we we're like, okay, well now we need to look in different um, um, avenues because the space there's there's a gold mine in the space. We just got to figure out which mine to dig. Yeah. Um, um, also, just to really extend on on that um, topic, we have another channel. It's a couples channel, and the views, the average views, over like ten thousand views per video. We were able to monetize that channel with, within one month with just two videos, yeah. because we ended up growing so fast and had so many views. Right, that channel with all those many views and all that kind of stuff does not make even half. Of what my smaller nano channel makes and that is literally what we're trying to tell you guys CPM is influenced by a lot of things not just numbers and views which of course help okay now let's go make some food and then talk about the next topic baby are you gonna shower or, or are you gonna make food first yeah. oh, coming at the barbershop too lit Pocket full of nickels blowing super drow. Oh, uh, smoother than the Cadillac with cruise control. The next source of income, which is also very throwaway, because it's not really our first choice, but we'll do it, especially if we feel like the audience can really benefit from what we have to say, is guest speaking or guest coaching. But usually it depends on the number of students. Um, as as well as the number of hours, as well as the deliverables, because I do also offer like ebooks, or they can take home the actual PowerPoint presentation and 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 all these things. So, for about a two-hour coaching slot, it's about ten thousand rand. But if it has other deliverables and there's more than like thirty students, then it'll go upwards of about thirty k. In order to have the greatest amount of impact, you have to only be speaking to the people that are already prepared to listen. Mm -hmm. um, like, because they're the ones that will receive the information that you're giving in a much better way. Like, they've already decided to listen, and now the information that you're giving them makes them go, wow, that's, that's like amazing. They already That'll help that me. Place. Exactly. Yeah. As opposed to like trying to convince someone to listen to you in the first place. Like, if someone's not prepared to listen to you in the first place, there's no way that they're going to receive your message. Or what they'll end up doing is they'll sit there, they'll listen to you, and they'll think of all the ways 
of how what you're saying that doesn't make sense to them, for instance. Yeah. Um, and like they'll completely miss a message that would impact them purely because they were never interested in you to begin with. Then after that, we have our ebook, which at this point just sells itself. Um, it's called the Ultimate Social Media Toolkit. It's about fifty dollars, and it's a guide that like from the first page just follow it step by step it's gonna ask you for your niche your branding your market then it's gonna move on it's gonna help you with your content creation give you certain apps give you actual content ideas like over 100 ig story ideas it's three months three, three months, months worth, worth of content of that if you actually just follow the ebook exactly as it is you will have three months worth of content to create yeah and then it even has like a little scheduling part where you can actually know this is gonna be the hashtag that i use the caption that i have, like all of that that is the ultimate social media toolkit again i'll link it down below um it sells itself we barely ever talk about it but because it's been so helpful towards other people they talk about yeah. it and then they end up yeah yeah which is the whole point of attraction based marketing yeah. is to have and passive income yeah is to have people talk about your um uh, products your services your content more than you actually have to come out and and talk about it because it's a lot more impactful and it reaches the right like audience or listener uh, much faster and every single month it brings in between 10 and 30k so if it's a slow month um then it's about yeah about ten thousand rand mm. will go in into paypal which is about a thousand dollars yeah and then um actually less than a thousand dollars and then a really good month will be like two thousand mm. dollars okay the only thing we actually did with that was we created it then we like uh, created a launch campaign for it we launched the product and then that was the last time we actually like did anything with it it just continues selling because people come on to um, the platform they go to the website they find that they purchase it like, it's a really, that really is a good really product. good um, passive income type product but that's one of the reasons why we both love digital products because you create it one time and then it essentially lives for how long you want to have it available for yeah and and what's really great about that toolkit is that it works right like it's actually a high quality product for anyone that is entering into the space but isn't quite sure if they want to be an influencer or not but wants to give it enough of a shot to see what things are about and yeah. test the waters i always always send it to those people where where i'm like this is the actual thing for you because yeah. it's going to introduce you to social media branding and being an influencer and being consistent um, without, you know, the same kind of commitment necessary as Impact Influencer, our course, or maybe mm -hmm. even um, one on one coaching. One of the things that, like, we're really um, happy about uh, with the toolkit as well is that a lot of people that have purchased, like, the, a lot of people that have purchased, like, the other products, like the course, for instance, they use the course, like, they use the toolkit in relation to the course yeah. and I've said that the toolkit is actually the one thing that organizes that helps them to organize their specific um, thoughts as they're going through the course so that was a good bonus that the um, toolkit ended up doing but it wasn't necessarily the reason why we created it yeah I mean the toolkit came before the course the course yes yeah. um, then next up is our course and this baby per month, how much would you say? Like 30k per month? Mm, yeah, on a slow, on a slow uh, month, it's about 30. Yeah. It's about double that. Like, um... No, I'm being very conservative. If we're having a bad month... No, a bad month is about 30. 30. Yeah, um, a good month is about 60 higher than, higher than that. that. Like 60 is sort of like where we... That's our average yeah, we, income? Yeah, we kind of cap it at that. Like if we hit 60, like we're like, yeah, we're not gonna... We will do other things. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then our private coaching per month, I'd say on oh, the... Oh, that's insane. On, on the lower end for our private coaching, 
we're making about 50 60k a month cool so those are our existing streams of income so it was adsense then it was guest speaking and guest coaching then it was our pdf downloadable then it was our course and then it was our private coaching we're missing one more brand deals dude oh brand deals <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> How we really started this whole process, we oh actually... Um, then our last one is brand deals. We don't open this window often either. Like, we will blatantly be, like, between February and April, we're not going to bother with brand deals because we really want to focus on some other aspect on one of our products. Mm -hmm. um, or, or we want to focus on up upskilling ourselves. Yeah. So we want to get a coach. And we want to focus our months on that and we don't want to have to do brand deals on top of that we, we, we I want to focus on the course and adding another module that we yeah. just thought of and we want usually to the, usually like every two three months we yeah. will open up whenever we decide that we're going to like either upgrade like one of the products um, or launch a new product like leading up to that launch we just won't do brand deals because um, because we're focused on the specific product that we are creating and the biggest thing that we do at that point is keeping track of the engagement like creating content feedback. getting the community. feedback from the um, community um tweaking the messaging like that's really how we go about it uh because that's how we almost like ensure that when we release the product when we launch the product there's number one pretty big demand for it already and number two the product works because it helps answer all the questions that we specifically got asked um, from our community. Ooh, was that delivery? Hi, buddy. Getting the delivery, eh? I really like the sound of you guys. Don't you dare start that video without me. I want to be in here. It's too late. In the space. Yeah, you can have this one. Okay? But only for this video. I don't have room as well, but whatever. Why are you fighting me over this pad? So I wanted that PJ like. No. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is that we <laughs> Why are you wearing two hats, yo? Where's the rule? It says I can't do that. True. Where is it? Moving, Show it to me. Moving on. And sharing it with my friends because we always talk about how to make more money with more streams of income. Um, and what you said about building that up and not feeling like you need to do it all in one go, that's really eased a lot of my anxieties. And I think... So, we didn't hop into six streams of income right um we started and with zero we started with zero as, as, as all things and then we built those streams brick by brick literally and i know even as i'm standing here saying this next year some of them will fall away and um, some of them will come to the forefront and then we'll build new ones yeah. like now we're starting to look at property and save all the money that we're making from these streams of income to start a property portfolio um, and and when we travel hopefully next year we want to rent out this place and then create another stream oh rentals we, we forgot that we also have a rental income stream <laughs> but anyways it's fine um and then create a um Oh, Not a sorry, I actually also talk. just remembered when you said <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Okay, so yeah, we had to build it big, brick by brick, brick by brick, bit by bit. And um, what we started with first was actually brand deals, yeah. um, because we had to get onto social media, build a platform before AdSense was even an option, and yeah. before brand deals were even an option. Yeah. Once we realized that the AdSense thing was not going to work out for us um, in the beginning, when we first started, um, we really started to shift our attention to what other things were out there. We really um, made a push to figure out how to get it done um, properly, and what we did was we leaned on like our previous experience um, of working in the modeling and fashion industry, 
uh, because we had had experience working with brands before, but not in the space of social media. So once we cracked the code on that, and we realized that that could be a consistent um, source of income for us, uh, the next thing that we did was we essentially started to invest that money into the next product that we were going to create, um, which was the course. Yeah. So now creating a course is very different from like booking brand deals. So there were a bunch of additional information, entrepreneur stuff that we needed to learn enabled to release the course. And that entrepreneur information actually helped us to do better with the brand deals. So it almost had like this forward and backwards feeding loop yeah. um, of being able to help us. Um, and I'm sure you guys can all relate to this, but things see seem very different from the outside. And a lot of people have this idea that these people are all multi-millionaires from brand deals. It's from like brand collabs. It's not from here's this product that I think is relevant to my audience. Let's collaborate on presenting it to them, right? So that they can better their lives and better their skincare or better their fashion sense or better their tech or better their um, business, whatever it is, right? Um, th that, that's not a consistent source of income because there's strategy to that as well. When you overwhelm your audience with brand deal after brand deal after brand deal after brand deal, which is the only way to make it a good source of income yeah. as a nano like influencer. If you're trying to break like you're actually five, going to lose five, uh, 50,000 um, a month, uh, $3,000 um, a month as a nano doing brand deal. It has you back to back, right? Yeah. And that's just didn't align with us because we knew that we would overwhelm and lose our community and again that's our main thing we don't yeah, yeah. nothing comes before our community yeah. keep the main thing the main thing yeah so then we realized that we actually can't rely just on brand deals we need an additional source of income and then that's when we were like well why don't we teach what we know and what we see a lot of people want to crack into which is how did we get to the place where we had so many brand deals and brand offers at the price that we were charging yeah. and also with only 800 to about 2000 that's round about when the deals became very very consistent was it about 2000 yeah. 2, followers Started right 800 but that 800 helped us to grow the platform so that by the time it got to 2000, 2000 yeah. it was just very consistent yeah. yeah we were actually turning away more brands than we were actually yeah. booking um at that time so then what happened was that if it took us about six months to get consistent brand deals, um, we were already communicating this idea to you guys. So we already had an idea, we had a product, we had a service, we just had to package it into an offer. And then it took us about three months to learn that entirely new business model mm -hmm. from scratch. Mm -hmm. And all of our brand deal money went straight towards that because I'm launching a course is actually the more expensive option because you do need a platform such as Thinkific, Kajabi or something like that, yeah. right? You needed a website. Your know, website, um, payment processing, payment process, it was a lot. Yeah. So we started this new business from scratch and we every single time money came in, it went straight back right into that one. Straight Whether back into it that was one. to sign up for this specific service or that specific website or... Um, yeah, like yes. there was a lot. Like the cool thing about the digital space is it's it's a it's a decent investment up front, but the return on that investment like comes back super quick. And once you do the upfront investment, like you don't have to keep investing in stuff over yeah. and over, um, so, like with other products. So here's the timeline: from about January to about mid 2019. Um, that's when you really crack the code on brand deals. Then from about um, mid-2019 to September, October, we focused on creating and launching and packaging all of our knowledge into something that could be given to other people as a resource in, in order to get consistent brand deals. Yeah, that works. Because that, it, it has to work. It has to work. Like yeah. If you're going to launch a course, the information in the course has to work. Otherwise... The product dies right there and your reputation goes with it. Yeah. 
then so now we are at about december january and then um we realized that the audience that we had curated fit into a specific um tax bracket and income and some people couldn't necessarily afford our course at that time simply because they were just starting out and they still didn't know how to book brand deals because that's who we ended up attracting right yeah. So we were like, let us create one more product to get them to that point. And that is where the, the um, PDF came in. And then we launched that March. Yeah, we launched the PDF in March. No, right. we launched it in February. We launched it in early Feb. Yeah, Feb, yeah. Feb, Feb, March was around about the PDF time, right? Yeah. Then we started to pivot our branding and our messaging because now we wanted to talk specifically to creators that wanted to use brand deals to get in and get money so that they can build their own business the same way that we did. So now yeah. we're talking to entrepreneurs. That's a different market completely. Yeah. We're not talking to students trying to break into social media. We're not talking to anything like that. We're talking to people that are on the space, but that are still struggling to make it work. So then they can't take that next level. Mm -hmm. And that's a different income and tax bracket. Now our um, age demographic went to about 25 to 35 instead of 18 to 25, which is kind of where it was last year. Yeah. And, and, and the way that we were able to do that was to consistently look back and go, where were we a year ago? What product would we have needed based on the money that we currently had, that we had at the time? And that's how we came up with all of the products and to speak to like the message that she um, sort of has is yeah like it's gonna take time to build everything out um, but one key thing that we didn't play that she also says in the message like and you don't know what you're gonna be you don't know what you're gonna be able to build out at step three if you don't take step one yes. so that's usually like how it worked with us is that like when we created our first course we did not like create that course for people who wanted to leverage brand deals into products that they could sell. But it, as that information became clearer and clearer to us, we realized that now there was another avenue that we could actually tap into um, where the people were going to be slightly more committed. Um, but we wouldn't have got to that point, like we wouldn't have gotten to our second course if we didn't release the first course because the feedback that people were giving us from the first course helped us to realize that there was another product that we could create. And the second course, the Impact Influencer that we just um, re uh, released, like the feedback we're getting from that is already giving us ideas as to what the next product will be um, uh, uh, to create. And that's how it works. Like when you build those things up like over time and you take the feedback into account from what you've created, it shows you what step three and four is um, and then you can start working towards that. But the key thing is you have to start. Yeah, and then also to uh, um, coupled with that, the main thing, the main thing. Yeah, your audience. Always the main thing, the main <laughs> thing. Always the main thing, the main thing. Also, something really important to note because now that we are as a community evolving into more on entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial what space. happens after the brand deal space, you need to really, really note that your community and your clients they need to get results so from my free content they have to be people that get results otherwise no one cares for the course the ebook the private coaching the guest speaking nothing from every single level a lot of people make this mistake where they only care about who's paying and it's like, you aren't seeing the bigger picture. Yeah. That, that is very, very short-sighted. I need people that are consuming my free content, the ones that are empowered enough to actually take it and use and it use and it. implement it. I need them to see results. Yeah. And the same way that, 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 that the people that take my course, they need to see results. So I'm very, very... Again, community driven, like your guys' feedback really does drive everything because then otherwise, what is the point? Otherwise, I, I am not having the impact that I want to have. Yeah. And we as a company aren't having the impact that we that want we to have. have. I think what's important to note though is that, um, you know, even with the free content, people are booking a brand deal at least. 
with Impact Influencer, they They're book multiple over a consistent basis. Yeah, with private coaching, they are booking multiple on a consistent basis while faster. creating whilst creating an additional source of income through building their business. Yeah. Can you see how the, that evolution reflects our journey, reflects our clients' journeys, yeah. reflects your journey? And that's just like we are built at the root of us based on what we as a community are doing. Like we're not the only people that do what we currently do, but we have found a market for ourselves and a lot of that market is based off of how we think, what our ideals are, like what our worldview is, like our approach to a specific thing, like like the cool thing about building that like personal brand is that it can always be based on you. And because like you as an individual, um, is a, is is a unique person it always means that there's some type of there's a group of people that will be interested in how you do things specifically and by that by that measure your market can't be saturated like i always think about it that way because like you said like the products that we create were the products that we needed um six months ago a year ago 18 months ago because we've been able to do that, we've always stayed true to like who we are as people and what our approach was to go from where we were a year ago to six months to now. Um, really, like if you base the company on you and then you try to find the people that would be um, connected to you in some way, shape or form, like, is there anything more unique than that actually, you know? And that's what I like about building like a business lifestyle kind of companies because you get to be who you are and have an impact um, in like a very like business space where it's about results and, and, and those kinds of things. I don't know why she's looking at me like that. Like I'm, I'm speaking the truth over here. Spit, brother. Spit, brother. Okay, anyways, we now need to go figure out reels. So come with us. Okay, baby, so let's start with the basics. One of the most common things is like these dance challenges. And then like you use the movements as like a transition and then you're like in different clothes. I do not like this idea, yo. Let's just try, okay? Doesn't mean we're gonna do it, baby. Doesn't mean it's gonna go in our reels, we're just learning reels, okay? Learning how to do what everyone's doing so that we can do our own thing, like put our own spin on it, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna be dancing and shit. It's easy, it's easy. Don't even stress yeah. about it. Fuck. I am stressed now. Why are you stressed? Because, bruh. Why are you biting? I don't get the moves. You don't need it to eye, baby. But I got the excitement that I'm gonna be you like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and let's be honest, the enthusiasm is all that matters. which would look like this. Yeah, the figure eight and then a worm. Yeah. And then where do I start the worm on this side? Yeah, so with the so same down, hand. figure eight, worm. worm. Yeah. Okay, so, whoa. whoa. Down, down, figure, figure eight, eight, worm. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Got groceries, so we're gonna go quickly to a place called Frozen for You, and we're gonna go get dinner. Guys, Alana said 
that learning how to do the renegade challenge really fucked up his day and now he just wants a nap and some food <laughs> he's and done read, and, a, and a chance to regroup and just to gather yourself you know all of my joe figures i want to ask you something have you guys heard i'm in the car have you guys heard of the cat that drives the taxi please <laughs> Please with that bullshit. Yeah. People have testimonies. They've they've hopped into the taxi and a cat was driving. So if any of you have testimonies, let us know. Let us know. Driving I forward. Hate that story. It's so dumb. <laughs> <It's a dumb. laughs> the one that drives in four ways. Yeah. Yeah. And people are dead ass serious about this damn cat too. Dead ass. <laughs> Did us. So funny. That's La Cremosa, where we get our waffles from. Huh. Chicken a la king pie. Chicken enchiladas. Oh, chicken enchiladas, maybe. Coronation chicken. Sound green chicken. Butter curry chicken. Mild butter curry chicken. Mm -hmm. Sticky chicken. The selection is much bigger than the one in the morning side. I also think so. Oh, there we go. That's such a good idea for too. Now I just saw, I saw on your Instagram, so you guys are now in Hermanus, I think, as well. You just extended. Yes. That's so exciting. <laughs> that lady was so friendly. Yeah. I really like her. She wasn't all up in your face trying to sell you. No. Which is nice. But she was around to help you. To help answer any questions. You happy with our selection? Me too. I'll know when we taste it. But I'm happy we went. That lady was lovely. Yeah. And last time we had their food, it was good, so. Should be a good vibe. Mm. We'll let you guys know. Over and out. <laughs> okay, so this is what we got: slow cooked lamb shanks, uh, sticky chicken, Adrian's mom's meatballs, spiced yellow rice, creamy mashed potatoes. I'm a happy camper. Come Are you happy? Yeah, I, do. I don't know which one I want first, though. Maybe I'll do the meatballs, the pasta. I want slow cooked lamb shank with mash. Let's just make some veggies. Okay, well then that's what we will have to have. No, you can have whatever you want. No, there's no point in opening two things of food. Okay, so our day just turned. <laughs> took a turn! Into Baby! Oh! I slaved away. <laughs> I, I've already over told this. them about Frozen for I you. I slaved away <gasps> over this, guys. Like smell it, come here, come here, smell. Smell, smell that, smell that. Mmm. That's all you, player. That's all you. <laughs> so we're busy. Um, remember that bottle of wine that we had in like two vlogs ago, the Florida Cup? So we just cracked her open. That's a good wine. This is a good wine. That's a good wine. That's a, that's a Merlot right there. Oh. That's a Merlot right there. So we cracked her open. We're having some wine. Um, Alana has put Utopia. Is that what it's called, baby? Yeah. On. And we're just going to have a little chilled dinner. Wine, have TV. Food, have some food. Chill. chill. Um, she got me all domesticated and shit. It was literally frozen food. 
It was actually frozen bread. Could you eat the food before I made them? Yes. No, you couldn't. Yes. We'll no, just you be couldn't. Cold. We'll just Delish. You guys, it's our. This is actually perfect timing. Okay. So I was five, six, six. seven, six it years. It might be six or seven. Seven, six. Our, our, our anniversary six, is seven. seven our anniversary is six, this seven. weekend. Yes, the tenth. The tenth. Of so October. if you guys could tell us what we should do, we'll even vlog it, okay? We have not celebrated. Let me tell you how we celebrated our one year anniversary. We went to Hermanus, we went whale watching, we were doing all these romantic things. The good old days. Cause... <laughs> and then we haven't done anything since. Yeah. So it's been about the second five, year. Six we years. were stuck in a film set. Third year, third year, we were working, um, we were grinding. We actually might have been on another set, but I think this time was for a music video. Yeah. Then last year, we were moving to Johannesburg. Literally, like we might have been inside of a and car. And another year that you skipped. <sighs> Well, either way, like it's always been hella busy for us. So this is going to be potentially the first year that we can actually do something. Can you leave us in the comments? Can you leave us some ideas? Let us know. Let us be cute. Help me be romantic. It's too late for that. But the entry okay, so is that, that is what I made. Gold, then that completely makes sense. You can definitely do that. Blood, sweat, and tears. And it's going to be phenomenal. Did you say blood, sweat, and tears? No. Brother. Why would I say that? I know that I just preheated it. I know that I just preheated it, baby. Why would I say that? Why? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, guy. <laughs> Did I do a good job, yo? Did I kill it? Frozen for you is so good at food, guys. Like, service is so good. Quality of food is so good. It's... You get to heat it up so that it feels like you've made it. So you have that added, like... Like just pride, like I just have like pride. As always, thank you so much for spending the day with us. Um, again, give us any ideas for our anniversary. Um, and if you guys have any more like questions, this is not good lighting. If you guys have any more questions with regards to multiple streams of income, maybe we should do a video on our future ones, like the future six that we're hoping to acquire in the sure. next 12 months. Let us know down in the comments. Otherwise, cheers. Cheers, guys. I need to eat now, though, so please, no more. <laughs>